Hey, it's Mike. In this video, I'm going to share with you the absolute best way to get your foot in the door and get new conversations started with local business owners so that you can sell them your agency services. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, look, if you're selling to small businesses, you know it can be very difficult to get in the door with them. Uh, they're super, super busy and they're not looking to take another call from salespeople. Uh, I know this because I've built two multi seven figure service businesses selling to small businesses and I have done everything to get my foot in the door. I've done cold calling, I've done direct mail, I've done webinars, I've done cold email campaigns, you name it, I've done it, okay? And I've done it pretty well because I've built two successful businesses, again, the multi seven figures selling services to small businesses, but I gotta tell you, there is a hard way to do it and there's a much easier and more enjoyable way to do it. The hard way to do it was what I did initially, which, you know, I, I'm gonna age myself here, but it was really before uh, all the social media platforms, it was cold calling. It was cold calling and we would use these uh, dialing software to dial, you know, 200, 300 small businesses in a single day, every single day. Uh, and we were absolute machines at it. We were really, really good at it. I had a team of salespeople, and I used that to build my IT services business to multiple seven figures. It worked, but man, it was painful, and it was hard to get good salespeople that wanted to continue to do it because it was so painful. Thankfully, the world has evolved, and when I say the world has evolved, what I mean by that is that customers now are, are connecting with us and prospects are connecting with us using social media, using content. Um, and it's less about pushing your way into the door and it's more about pulling them to you. And that's what I love about this prospecting strategy. It's really not anything where you feel like a slimy salesperson at all. It's actually that you're adding value. You're doing something where you're recognizing that business. Um, getting them some additional attention and at the same time getting a conversation started, okay? That's what this is all about. It's just getting the conversation started because as I'm sure you've experienced, just getting the conversation started is typically the hardest thing. Once you have your foot in the door, you know, you can establish a good relationship with them and you can sell to them. Maybe not today, but over time you can keep in touch and ultimately turn them into business. So how do we get our foot in the door? That's what I'm gonna show you right now using Instagram, my absolutely favorite app for getting in the door with local businesses. And I'm gonna share with you why, and I'm gonna open up Instagram on my phone here, and I'm going to show you why. All right, first, let me just tell you a little bit about Instagram and why this is so effective. Uh, you know, Instagram obviously has been just blowing up in popularity and it's got a ton of engagement. Compared to Facebook, it's got much, much more engagement. It's over a billion users now, so everybody is on it. But I gotta tell you, it is the most local social media app by far. What I mean by that is Instagram is primarily people just taking pictures and posting pictures of what they're seeing around them every day. I mean, yes, you know, you've got uh, the major stars that are using Instagram to put, you know, content on there for the, for the whole world. But in terms of the way most people use it, they're posting pictures from their daily experiences. So they're going out to a restaurant, they're taking a picture of the food, they're posting it on Instagram. They're going out to a concert, they're recording something they're putting on Instagram. What you don't have on Instagram is all the junk that you have on Facebook, right? You don't have the shared articles, the shared cat videos, all that type of stuff. You can't really do that on Instagram. So it tends to be just really, really hyper locally focused, which is perfect for you to get in the door because what it means is that business owners, smart business owners, the ones that you wanna work with, are on Instagram too. They're making sure that their businesses are showing up on Instagram because they know that it is hyper local. And I gotta tell you, here in San Diego, Facebook, you know, it's, it's not to say that Facebook is dead. Obviously, Facebook is not dead. It's got huge volumes and, and lots of people on it. But in terms of the younger, savvy crowd, they are on Instagram. And so local businesses are on Instagram as well to get their attention, which brings me to how we're going to use Instagram to get our foot in the door 
with business owners. I'm gonna show you one very specific technique that works like gangbusters that you can utilize starting today and it will get you conversations going with business owners and then there's lots of other cool strategies that I can share with you in Instagram here as well but we're gonna focus on this one here today. All right, I am going to just open up the recorder here on my phone and I'm going to start recording here and we're gonna make it pop up on the screen here so that you can see it, okay? So here we are, we are in Instagram and I am actually in my account for Their San Diego, okay? You can see here on my screen, Their San Diego. This is actually my local media account. So I actually run a local media business called Their San Diego here in the San Diego area, obviously. And what we do is, uh, you can see our tagline, it's the best to eat, drink, see, and do in San Diego. Okay, so, we share content about the fun things that are happening in San Diego. And so that obviously has built us up an audience. We've got 22 and a half thousand followers right here. Um, we can get good engagement, good distribution of our content on Instagram. Um, and it's a lot of fun. It's a very, very connected community on Instagram locally. So, um, what we are going to do to get some conversations going, I'll show you here is we are going to use Instagram stories, okay? So if I click on the there icon up there, if you're not real familiar with Instagram, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through it. The big there icon uh, in the top left, if I click on that, it's gonna take you to our stories, okay? Stories are the content that you post that's just temporary. It stays up there for 24 hours and then it disappears. Um, and you can see here, we're posting a good amount of content. I'm just kind of letting it go through here. We're posting a good amount of content to our stories every single day. Now, the really cool thing about this is when we post this content on our stories, it is tagging the account of the con the account that created the content that we're sharing. Okay? So it is tagging, let me say that again, the account of the content that we are sharing. So uh, here in this specific example, you can see on my screen right now, there's a company here called Bivouac Cider, and they have created this post right here where they're introducing their founder on International Women's Day as I'm recording this. And when we share this content on Instagram, on our story, they are going to see that we shared that content, okay? So what is this doing? This is doing what I call VIP selling. VIP selling is where um, we are adding value in our sales process. We are being interesting and showing interest in our sales process. So that's the I in VIP. And then P, we are positioning ourselves as well. Okay, that's VIP selling. That's a, a philosophy that I've had in my sales approach going back almost 20 years now where in our sales process, if we wanna be welcomed instead of being that pest that most people are, you know, most salespeople are, we wanna add value in our sales process, okay? We wanna be interesting and show interest and then at the same time positioning ourselves in the process of selling as the preferred brand to work with. So this is VIP selling 101 right here because what I'm doing is without cold calling, without being a pest, without interrupting, what am I doing when I share their content to my Instagram story? What I'm doing is I'm getting them exposure with my audience. I am oftentimes adding some sort of little comment on here to indicate to, you know, that I'm a fan of the content. You can see right here we put a little yum um, graphic there on the bottom just to you know, indicate that we think that this looks like awesome food at this restaurant. Um, and so what we're doing is we are adding value to these businesses by sharing their content. We're getting them exposure to our audience. So this is a win for a business here in San Diego when we share this content to our Instagram account. It also shows them that we're interested in them. We're paying attention to them, right? We're tuning into their content, which in the world of Instagram or social media, that's a compliment to somebody. Right? It's a compliment that you're tuning into their content. Also, we are 
Um, and actually, I just got rid of that notification that just came on my screen. I should have showed that to you real quick, but that was a perfect example. Somebody else shared our content in their story or mentioned us in their story, and I got a little notification there. Did you see that? I'm gonna show you in just one minute because that's what's key to this. So we are also positioning ourselves because when the restaurant or the business or whatever it is that we share their content sees that we share their content, they're gonna come back to our account because they're gonna say, hey, who is this sharing our content? And they're going to see, hey, who's this there San Diego with 22 and a half thousand followers? We are positioning ourselves as somebody who understands marketing and understands social media and attention in San Diego, which is what we want to position ourselves as so that we can sell our services. Right? So let me just show you how this works. So again, that notification that I just mentioned that popped up. So if I go into the upper right here and you can see that little heart with the uh, red icon, that means that there's um, some activity going on here. Okay. And then in my inbox right there on the upper right, the far upper right corner with the number two in there, you can see that that also is indicating that there's some activity up in here. Okay. So um, what I want to show you is that in this um, inbox, you can see right here, Park 101 mentioned you in their story. Cucina Restaurants tagged you in a post. Okay, Steak Chop House tagged you in a post. All right, so when these businesses are adding us to their story or mentioning us in a post, it is showing up in our inbox. You can see right here, Camino Riviera mentioned you in their story, okay? PB Shore Club mentioned you in their story. Fairmont Grand Del Mar mentioned you in their story. What is this? This is all businesses that are mentioning us in their story and sharing their content. Now, why in the world would they do that? Because we're doing it for them too. We're scratching their back, they're scratching ours, they're seeing that we're adding value, we're sharing with our audience, and they're doing the same thing. And what is it doing? It's creating a conversation right inside of our private direct message inbox. Okay, so we go to one of these businesses, let's look at, um, let's look at Park 101 mentioned you in their story four hours ago, okay? So we're gonna pull this up and you can see here what they did is they've got this 90s trivia night and they mentioned us in their story there, okay? So you can see that little button that says add this to your story. Okay, let me just go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and hit add this to my story, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and just type a little note on here. This looks, oops, this looks like a great time, all right? Go ahead and make it pink background because that's our brand here. Oop, make it stand out a little bit. Get that down here. Okay, so now what I am doing is I am sharing their event for them on my story. Okay, now when I did that, they were notified in their messages that I added their post to my story. Okay. So, and you can see in my inbox right now, it says Park 101 sent just now. So it's showing that that was sent to their inbox. So again, what is that doing? That is creating a connection right inside of the inbox with these businesses. Look at all of these businesses in San Diego that are mentioning us in their story or tagging us in their posts. How many of you would like to have those kinds of conversations and that kind of engagement going on with businesses in your market as a way of getting your foot in the door. That's all it takes. It's that simple. All you've got to do is use your Instagram account to add value to these businesses by sharing your content with your audience so that they see it happening and now it's very, very easy for me to reach out to these businesses and get a little conversation going. First, right inside of these direct messages. And then next, we can take it offline, we can have a phone call, we can go and visit them at their business, whatever it is. 
but this is the easiest way to get conversations going. I mean, just look at all of the activity in our inbox with these small businesses in San Diego that we're sharing their content, they're sharing our content, they're messaging us or tagging us in their posts, we're doing the same. It gets that conversation going and gets the foot in the door and it's a lot of fun, okay? Managing an Instagram account in your local market when you actually enjoy your local market and you enjoy the businesses in your local market, it's a lot of fun. It's the easiest way and most enjoyable way and most effective way to get your foot in the door with small businesses in today's world. Now, you may be thinking, Mike, yeah, that's awesome. You got there in San Diego, you're, you're doing this for restaurants and stuff like that. You know, they're on Instagram. Okay, don't take the easy way out. Don't take the lazy way out. All businesses are on Instagram now. And there is an example I can show you of somebody doing this in every niche, okay? Real estate, um, you know, uh, doing this for furniture, doing this for automotive, doing this for landscaping, whatever it is, you can do this on Instagram, build up your audience, and tag businesses like this to get in the door with them. It just takes a little bit of creativity, um, but it can be done, it is being done, and it's a lot of fun, okay? I hope that that helps you. Please do get in touch if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. And of course, if this video was valuable for you, please give it a big like, share it with somebody else that you think would get some value from it. And I've got a free resource okay, that I will give you access to. I'm gonna put the URL here down below. You can go check it out. If you'd like some strategies like this on how to grow your business, uh, get in the door with more local businesses uh, and do it in a way that's actually enjoyable, I'd love to share it with you. Um, and please, of course, subscribe to this channel. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you on a future video.